Hi guys, Ree here, welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney, and a Disneyland Paris haul from our February 2023 half term trip. I've got loads of exciting bits and pieces to show you, including some things I was desperate to get my hands on and I managed to grab. So the first thing I want to talk about very briefly is this spirit jersey. I did not actually buy this in this particular haul. I just wanted to let you know that when we were in Disneyland Paris, they had loads and loads of these in stock. I know these have been sold out in Disneyland Paris. They very briefly appeared on Shop Disney in the UK, which is when I got mine, but I think they sold out in about 15 minutes. So if you are heading to Disneyland Paris and you are looking for one of their 30th spirit jerseys, at the time we were there, they had them in loads and loads of the different shops. So do not panic. Okay, where shall we start with all these exciting goodies? Aha, let's start with these. Now this was one of the things I was really hoping to get. And I managed to get them not just in the adult size, but the children's size too. And that is the Disney 100 Spirit Jerseys. So this is the adult size, this is a size small. So that's the same size as I'm wearing. So for reference, I'm about a UK size 10 and I wear a small Spirit Jersey. And this one does say Disneyland Paris on the back. It's got Mickey and all the gang in their Disney 100 finery. I love the colors in it. And not only did they have the adult ones, but they also had the children's versions. So this one is an extra large or a child size 14 that William wanted. So that is the largest of the children's sizes. The next size down is a large, which is an age 10 to 12. And that's the size we got for Bella. And then Zara's, I mean, it is big on it, but this is the smallest size of spirit jerseys they do in Disneyland Paris that I have found. I've never found them smaller. This is a medium, which is a size seven to eight. I know when we got spirit jerseys for the children in Florida, they had smaller sizes, but in Disneyland Paris, you would have heard me talk about this in previous videos, they barely do any children's spirit jerseys at all. So I was just glad to get my hands on any, even if they are a little bit big. You're just gonna have to excuse my voice, by the way. From about halfway through the trip, I started losing my voice. And since getting home, I have been feeling really quite under the weather. So if I sound a bit weird and not like I normally do, that's why. So just to compare the sizes on these for you, that is the extra large compared to the large. I'll put the smaller one on the front. So they're just marginally different sizes for each one. Keep in mind that everything I bought within a shop, I did manage to use my Infinity Pass annual pass discount on. The annual pass discount works in restaurants, it works in shops, it does not work in carts. So anything we bought in carts or outside like stalls, I couldn't use my discount, but all of these which I purchased in Flora's, I did use my discount for. All right, next we've got some Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary t-shirts. Now these I almost picked up on from all the trips we've been on really and I finally got them this time because I'm not sure when we're going back. We haven't got another DLP trip booked. Our passes run out in last in May I think um, so we could technically squeeze in another trip but then we have got the cruise which we need to pay that off and that's in August so I just don't know what to do. Try not to get emotional about it. The Disney blues are the worst, aren't they? Coming home from Disney, you're just like, oh, the only way you can cure it is to book another trip. Anyway, these are the pink um, t-shirts I got for the girls. This one, they did in a size six. So they didn't have the size six in spirit jersey, but they've got a size six, which I got for Zara. I actually got age 12 for Bella. She's only eight, but she's really, really tall. Um, and these have got Mickey, Minnie, and all the gang on the front, the castle and all of their um, 30th anniversary outfits. So the spirit jerseys are part of the Disney 100 collection, which is spanning all the parks, whereas these t-shirts are part of the 30th anniversary collection. And then for Will, we've got an age 12 as well, so that's as big as it went, t-shirt, um, which is the blue version of the Disneyland Paris 30th collection. Then a water bottle. William picked up this really lovely Disneyland Paris water bottle. This is 20 euros, which to be honest, the chili bottles, which we use at home, are £20 if you buy them on Amazon. So for a Disney branded product, I'd say that's quite good. So it's one of those ones you mustn't put in the dishwasher, but it keeps your cold drinks nice and cold. The children's use these types of bottles for school, but because it's got this hook, you could technically carabine it onto the outside of a bag. So he's really, really pleased with that. A lot of these bits and pieces, by the way, the children did buy out of like birthday money and things. Since our last trip in November, all three of my little ones have had both birthday and obviously Christmas. So they had money for that. But when friends and relatives are like, what do they want for Christmas? It's like, 
money for Disney, please. So the girls did also buy these bottles, but these bottles are a bit big this size, so this size would be perfect for winning for school, but it's a bit big for a park bag, especially if you're taking a lounge fly type bag. This little size bottle is perfect for a park bag. So again, this could be like hooked on the outside of a bag. It's a non dishwasher safe one again, it's gotta be washed by hand, but is perfect for keeping cold drinks cold. And ideal for topping up with water in the park. And I got this pack of pens, which I'm gonna split between the children. I think Bella has decided she wants Minnie, Zara wants Daisy and William wants Mickey. So I guess I will have one of the remaining pens. But we have got Pluto, Mickey, Donald, Mini, Daisy and Goofy in here. Just open them up and have a little look, shall we? Which kind of pens are these? Oh, these are really cute. They've got lots of shimmery kind of silvery little icons on them. Disney Castle, Orbitron. Very, very pretty. Aladdin's lamp, Cinderella's carriage. And I think, is that a, there you go. It just writes in like a blue kind of a biro. That pack of pens was 13 pounds before the discount. Then I do love a pack away bag. So I saw this one and it's so cute. It's actually a pack away backpack as opposed to just a bag. But you know when you're in the parks and there are so many things that you need to carry around. So you might enter just carrying one bag but then everyone takes off their coats or jumpers and you need somewhere to put them or things you buy or pick up or whatever. It's so handy to have these pack away bags. I use them all the time. I did buy some Disneyland Paris pack away bags on a previous trip. I have two of those and I use them constantly. In fact, on this trip, I used them. I could fit about two coats in each of those bags and I used those to put our coats in the lockers, which the lockers are like storage facilities included in my annual pass. Because some of the days we went in, it just wasn't cold enough to warrant the coats and I just didn't want to have to carry them all around. So pack away bags are ideal for things like that. So this one, really, really cute. Loads of cartoon Mickey comic strips all over it. And then it just packs away in on itself like so. Then I bought two of these pack away bags as a gift. So I already had one of these from a previous trip. I'm gonna open up mine so that I can keep these neat and tidy. These were five euros each before the discount. And this is what they look like after you've opened them. So obviously not as neat and giftable, but basically just, an easy shopping bag. These are really tiny. I like keeping these in my handbag just if I nip to the local shop to pick up a couple of bits after school. And it's all in the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary print. Then the girls bought some things they were very excited about. So Bella bought this, which is as soft and fluffy as the blanket. I've got one in, similar to this in my living room and I've got one on my bed. Now this is four way, is that a four way thing? So you can use it as, and I've got to say, I kind of wish I got one of these for myself. So Bella may come home from school one day and find me like working wearing this. So you can wear it as like, like, a, like a cloak and just button it up so it buttons there like this. And it would be like somewhere between a dressing gown, a cloak, Bella wore it to the fireworks. So ideal for the parks or for traveling. So she wore it home on the plane. But you can also button it like this. So it kind of makes sleeves and can go like that. Or you can just use it as a blanket, which, you know, very nice to snuggle in. Or you can roll it back up on in, in on itself and use it as a cushion. So Bella just wore it like a cloak a lot in the evenings. Ideal, honestly, for like getting on a plane, what could be more kitschy than like a wearable coat, cloak, blanky loveliness type thing. Bella was very excited about this. I think she'll use it a lot. Now Zara, got this, which is the equivalent. So this is one of the ways you can use it and that's as a Minnie Mouse cushion. But if you open it down the back, it turns into, and this is very cool, a purple snuddy, a Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary purple snuddy. How gorgeous is that? Now I had seen adults wearing these, the blue version of them, and I'd seen people wearing them in the parks previously. I saw a few people wearing them in the parks this time. I did not see any actual adult sizes of these in blue or the purple to purchase. We were looking for a bigger size. William was thinking about wanting one, but couldn't find a size big enough for William, so we didn't bother. It says 30 years of magic on the back, and it's slightly more sparkly. The blue version doesn't have this kind of fleck of sparkle through it, but it's very, very cute. And I think Zara will use this a lot again, you know, end of the night watching fireworks or in the house, coming down for breakfast on Sunday morning, just anytime she wants to be cozy, which is all the time really. Now William managed to find this, which made him happier than any Snuddy ever could. And that's an Avengers Campus Spirit Jersey. Now this is not a child size. We managed to get an extra small for William, which, which is big. 
And um, if you watch previous videos, he'll know we bought a Stitch Spirit jersey for him, an extra small, on the last trip. And my auntie took it in for him, so she kind of overlocked it here and here to make it smaller. But William feels, and I kind of agree, that the white Spirit jerseys, if they're oversized, look more oversized because they're white and just show more expanse. Whereas the darker ones, it doesn't matter if they're so big, and I kind of agree with them. But this is the Avengers Campus Spirit jersey. I know this has been sold out for ages, now, you cannot use annual pass discount on anything Avengers Campus specific, unfortunately. You can get discount on the bag that you buy to put your jersey in, but that's it. So this has got the A on the front. It just says Avengers Campus Disneyland Paris on the back. And William is absolutely thrilled with it because he is obsessed with Avengers Campus. It's his favourite place in all of Disneyland Paris. The other thing we bought, and this is very similar to the Disneyland Paris ones that I've got. So this is probably more useful around the parks than this backpack one, but I haven't seen these any places other than the Art of Marvel. Now the Caribbean is mine, so they just ignore that, but it's just good to attach your bags to things with a carabiner. But this bag was when you spent a certain amount in the Art of Marvel shop, then you could buy this at a discounted rate. And it's just a zip up Marvel bag. So I've now got the two Disneyland Paris ones plus this Marvel one. Um, William will use this, I would imagine, and it zips away into this little pouch. It's really handy, like I said, mainly for carrying coats when it's like warmer certain parts of the day, cooler other parts of the day, and people are taking off coats and hoodies and things and you need somewhere to put them. Ooh, the next thing I'm pulling out of my bag is not technically something I bought in this haul, but it's just something I want to show and share with you, and that is my Disneyland Paris trip planner. So this is the first trip I've actively used this planner and it worked really, really well actually. Um, if you watched my pack with me video or my walk through the planner video, you'll you'll know what's kind of it's all about inside and you'll know you can get the digital version or the printed version. And for the planning, as in the packing, I use the digital version because I plan digitally generally and that's what works for me. But we took the actual planner and do you know what? It was so lovely for the children because they were taking time while they were waiting for me to get ready in the morning or we were waiting to see a character or something to fill in the things they wanted to do in the planner and then the magical memories and things. So they really, really enjoyed utilizing this. It was a good way to make bucket lists for things we wanted to do that day, record show times we wanted to attend. So if you are interested in what's inside the planner or how to plan for Disneyland Paris, you can check out that video. You don't have to purchase the planner at all. You can just take a piece of paper or a notebook and a pen and jot it all down yourself. But if you would actually like to purchase the planner, either the digital or the printed, and there's a coil bound version as well, then you can use the link below. So this is the Disneyland Paris version, but there's also a Magical Parks version, which works for all Disney parks. Next thing I want to show you are these Illy dolls. Now, I-L-Y, Illy, I guess. William thinks it might stand for I love you, which would make a lot of sense. So these dolls, they're not princesses themselves, but they're like people, who are going to the parks Disney bounding as princesses. So this girl is Disney bounding as Tiana, and this is the one that um, Zara bought. And this one here is Disney bounding as Ariel. So she's got like a fish and a seashell on her neck. She's got, these look like seashells on her jacket. She's got kind of Ariel-esque ears. Then the one Disney bounding as Tiana has got like a Tiana crown on her ears and these pretty flowers. They come with all these different accessories and a little balloon with like a surprise gift inside. The girls are obsessed. They already had a Belle, a Jasmine, and a Cinderella doll between them, like birthdays and stuff, since Christmas. So these little two have been added to the collection. You can also get these on Shop Disney if you're not going to the parks. And then Zara, out of her birthday money, bought this Raja. Because Jasmine is her very favorite princess, so she needed her in Raja. She liked it because it's got this magic carpet blanket thing to wrap Raja up in, like a baby. So there were a lot of these. Um, there's like a Pegasus wrapped in a blanket and things. But this one I did feel was cuter because the others were just wrapped in blankets. But Raja's blanket is actually also the magic carpet, which I love. The next couple of things we brought back, the next couple of things I've got to show you are popcorn buckets. Now, I kind of thought maybe the children would want to keep things in these. This was the popcorn bucket I bought at a cart in studios. And William and I went to see the Avengers um, Marvel drone show. The girls were gone back with my husband and we had like a little popcorn snack. So I thought maybe the children want to keep toys or something in that, so I did bring that back. 
I also brought back this popcorn bucket, which unfortunately has already broken. So, I don't know, I think after the great figment popcorn buckets lines of 22, I thought the popcorn buckets might be a bit more substantial and a bit more like a keeper thing, but this one's already snapped off the side and it doesn't seem to reclose very much. So maybe I'm missing the point here. A popcorn bucket's supposed to be like eat it and then chuck it, or are they supposed to be keepsakes? Or did I just get one that we've managed to break? And I don't know how. I don't know what I'm doing here, look. Am I wrong here? Am I missing the point? There we go, so I've, I've managed to wedge that in. That'll now come off and on like that. Pull it, there you go. So that says, best day ever. It's supposed to have a strap that goes from here to here, but my husband took the um, the, the like fabric strap off to wash the popcorn bucket out, and when he went to reattach it, the plastic literally came all the way off. So, I don't know. The children will probably still play with that, to be honest. It'll probably be part of a shop or something. Um, that they will sell fake popcorn in. Just sound off in the comments, have you bought any popcorn buckets in the parks at all? And are they supposed to be keepsakes or are they supposed to be just for the sake of eating the popcorn and then they have to be like thrown away or recycled? Next, I've got these autograph books to show you that the children bought. Now the pens we bought on a previous trip, but we got these in Disneyland Paris because they are big, chunky pens suitable for furry characters to use. Now the last autograph books the children had, they had a little pen loop, so the pen would slot in there. These don't have a pen loop, so I've added, this is just a hair elastic, and to be honest, this is a really sensible thing to add anyway, because it keeps the autograph book closed. Otherwise, when the autograph book is in the children's bags, and that's a question I get asked all the time, by the way, what do the children carry? in their bags. They're always carrying lounge fly and a lot of people saying, I don't know what my children will carry in the bags. They always carry tissues, wet wipes for, you know, we're eating out and about. They always carry their own drink bottles because we have one each to fill up and they always carry autograph books. William will carry his phone in there and then they often carry like pen and paper and things to stop and draw on and on this trip, Bella was carrying the trip planner as well so she could write in that when we were stopping. Anyway, by putting an elastic on your autograph book, it keeps it together, it stops it opening out, because without the elastic, sometimes they kind of open up a bit in the bag and then the pages kind of bend and go all sort of tarnished and icky around the corners. But by using a hair elastic to keep it together, you can also keep your pen attached to it like so. And one really good tip actually is when you're going to see a character, is open the page at the right page just like while you're in the queue, otherwise you're wasting valuable interaction with the character time fussing with autograph books. So what you can do when you've got a hair elastic, why the children got a lot of autographs this trip, you can literally, you could just put the elastic on the right page, like so, and then it's easy to pop it open to where it needs to be. You could even put the pen through it like that to give directly to the character. So the girls chose these princess autograph books and inside these autograph books, they have got the slots to put photographs again. William chose this Avengers autograph book that we found in the Art of Marvel. I hadn't spotted these anywhere else in the parks. So then we bought one in the Art of Marvel and then I kind of saw them everywhere. These are pretty much a very similar setup to the girls' princess ones with the slot for the photographs too. So I do need to get these photographs all printed out ready to go into the children's autograph book. So the next thing I got was this Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary backpack. Now, we've got a lot of bags, um, most of which are lounge fly and a lot smaller, but for traveling on planes and things, certainly now the children have got switches, which they'd use on the plane, but they wouldn't bother taking into the parks. It can be handy to have a larger bag. So I really like this. I am denied about picking it up for ages. I don't know whether it'll replace the bag that my husband generally takes, or maybe myself or William will carry this while we're flying in future. So inside it's got a couple of little pouches at the top and then a really large space inside. Base for bottles on either side and sort of ventilated back, I guess. Now what confuses me, and I'd love to know what these are for. What are these straps for? So there's one there, and there's one there. Is it for like, is it for like slotting an umbrella? In? Is it for, like, what's it for? People that know about backpacks, they can't have just put them there for fun. They're like matching ones on either side. Please tell me what they're for, because I'm so curious. And it's got a zippy pouch down the front too. But yeah, please do let me know what I'm supposed to do with these. I'm baffled. 
So I'm not sure what my absolute favourite item is out of all this. If I had to pick, I'd say it's probably the spirit jerseys. I'm so thrilled with these and it's really nice that I've managed to match with all three of the little ones. If the girls had to pick, I think their favourites are probably the Illy dolls and I think William's favourites probably the Avengers spirit jersey. Let me know which is your favourite from what you've seen here or let me know the favourite thing that you've ever bought in a Disney park. So thanks so much for watching and putting up with my voice sounding really, really peculiar. I am going to go now before my voice goes entirely and I can't get a sound out at all. You can watch my latest video up here or more Disney hauls just down here. See you guys soon.